Brexit, petition to remain in the EU hits 2 million signatures in just one day. Here's a summary of the article. A petition to revoke Article 50 and remain in the EU gathered over 2 million signatures in less than 24 hours on Thursday. Posted on the British Parliament's website, the petition read, The government repeatedly claims exiting the EU as the will of the people. We need to put a stop to this claim by proving the strength of public support now, for remaining in the EU. A people's vote may not happen, so vote now. Petitions with more than 100,000 signatures are automatically considered for a debate in Parliament. Nearly 2,000 signatures are being completed every minute, the British Parliament's Petition Committee said on Twitter. The rate of signing is the highest the site has ever had to deal with and we have had to make some changes to ensure the site remains stable and open for signatures and new petitions. A map of the petition participants showed high numbers of remainers in Edinburgh, London, Bristol, Cambridge and Brighton. A previous petition which called to revoke Article 50 if there is no Brexit plan by 25 February received 136,400 signatures and was subsequently debated in the House of Commons on of March. This post received a score of 48,262, with an upvote ratio of 83%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It would work better how we did our flag referendum. Edit, this is not a comment on the wisdom of Brexiting or not, it's a comment on the democratic process. Also I'm aware our flag referendum was a shambles, but that's kind of the point. The proposal phase was shit and so the change never went through. Well you'd think wouldn't you? David Cameron only held the referendum because he wanted to get the anti-EU people off his back and he was sure Remain would win. No one actually thought through what would happen if Leave won. You're spot on, his unbridled arrogance lead us into this mess. Plus voters. The people aren't exactly blameless here. I remember reading an editorial which talked about how voters in economically poor situations were presented with two choices. Stay, everything remains exactly as it is. Leave, things will likely change, possibly for the better. It's was a simple choice for these people even though they had very little real information to base their vote off. It gained 1 million signatures in less than 8 hours. I made a Google Sheet along with some JavaScript to track and chart signatures and predict when, if ever, it would exceed the number of leave votes in the 2016 referendum. Opening square bracket. Edit, gold. Wow, thanks very much. My first ever. I'm not even a professional statistician or programmer, just a bored undergraduate really. It's limited by the capacity of the website to handle the sheer amount of signatures. The website went down then afterwards people needed to wait hours for the email verification in order to sign while the system caught up to them. Hence the linear increase today. They've also reduced the frequency with which the counter updates, which is giving me zeros in the change column. Yeah, last night it was updating at the rate of 100 every 4 seconds or so, and this evening, after the downtime, it was up to 250 signatures every 4 seconds or so. I've checked again now and it's been stuck on 2,232,118 for the last few minutes. Admittedly it's nearly 1 o'clock in the morning, but I'm still suspicious activity has dropped off that hard. I hope they've just dropped the frequency the counter updates to keep the site online, and nothing fucky is going on behind the scenes. When you get unprecedented scale, you don't fudge the numbers, you call in the technical experts to make it work as well as possible. That can mean sending verification emails in bulk rather than on demand, latency while the verification queue clears, latency in counter updates, disabling or throttling client-side live updates, clustering count servers, and so on. This is the sort of thing YouTube deals with every day, and is why its numbers are almost always approximate. Your vote is counted, it just takes a while to see it happen. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.